Citizens of Bartica, it is indeed my great pleasure to welcome you on this 50th anniversary of the New Deal and the glorious liberation of the Five Kingdoms. Captain Luger! And it is even my greater pleasure for us to be celebrating the birthday of my beloved son, your future king and heir to the throne, Prince Kelby. Hmm? Your Majesty, begging your sincerest pardon, but the prince cannot be found anywhere. <sighs> Off daydreaming, no doubt. Odin, find him. As you wish, my liege. The prince will join us shortly. Now, everyone, let's make this a celebration to remember! Hurry up, Sam. Come on, or we're gonna miss the fireworks. Yeah! Amazing. Now this is more like it. I wonder how many days we've spent together away from the city noise up in this old tree. I think it's the best friend I have in the world. And next to you, of course. Aww, that's really sweet of you to say, Kelby. But today is your birthday. Don't you think the two of us should be heading back to the palace? Your father and the royal guards might be worried you're in danger. Danger could never come to me. We have our army, Odin, and especially Gar's Keep. Gar's Keep? Yep. Odin says it's an ancient stronghold we would retreat to that was built to protect the royal family if we were ever attacked. Though honestly, I've never actually seen it myself. Still, it's nice they're throwing such a grand party in your honor, even in your absence. Well, when I'm king, I won't be like my father. I'll pay more attention to family. The day we conquered magic, blah blah. It's all just a celebration of the Bodican ego. But also a celebration of your birth. Well, either way. I'll make a promise right here and right now. I will never be like my father. Oh, you mustn't say that, Kelby. King Bulger is a glorious leader. He's so stalwart and brave and true. I understand you have to think that way, Sam, but I don't. But as long as it's a holiday, I can't think of a better way to spend it than right here in this tree with you. Oh, that reminds me. I made you a little present. Aw, you didn't have to do that, you know. Or is that just your programming too, and you didn't have a choice? No, I think I did it because I wanted to. Please, go ahead and open it. Whoa. Oh, this is awesome. Thank you. But hold on a second. Why does it have two chains? That's so perfect. But pendant or no pendant, no matter what may come, let's make a promise to always be there for each other, okay? What do you say? Sound like a deal, Sam? Yes, it's a deal. 